we're live, Jane. We're, oh, we're live. live. We're <laughs> live. We're live. We're just saying. It's come around again. It's Wednesday already. Yeah. Where's that gone? Where's the week gone? Where and how? I don't know. It just flies. It just flies. You know what they say? Time flies when you're having fun. We are having fun with some flowers today. Yes. This is Jane's Lovely Make. Beautiful. What was your inspiration, Jane? I've been inspired by all the posts of sunflowers being the national flower of the Ukraine. It, you know, we can't avoid it, can we? It's quite sad. and Because I know you'd on, wanted to do one for ages. Yeah, because it's the Dresden plate and it's just, and I just love, we've had a lovely selection of sunflower fabric in. and It's, it's very, been brewing for a while, hasn't yeah. it, this one? It just gave me the excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we needed one. Yeah. Not that we needed one. Um, so, 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 look, look hang on. Just check volumes down and see who's here. Jean's here, Elaine's here, and uh, other people all joining us. Oh, I'm going to turn off my captions as well because I can't cope with that. It's bad enough having to listen to myself, <laughs> let alone then read what, what they think, think I I'm might saying. have said. <laughs> yes. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? it what is. I might have said. What they now, think you said. We've got um, various kits today. We're going to show you the Half Meter Heavens that will go live at midnight tonight. Other things to relay, and I'll keep reminding you, £5 or £50. Nice. 5 or 50 is the code, which for SJ is quite normal. Yeah, that's quite a, a, an easy code to relay. Yeah. I mean, where's the humour in that? Her. No, I know. <laughs> I know. She has been poorly. I know, but yeah. still, you know. Yeah. Come on. Uh, good morning, Rona. She's good morning, lovely ladies. Morning, Julia. Morning, peeps. Morning, Crangle. She's here. Morning, Bridget. Morning, Faye. Morning, Rebecca. Morning, Brenda. Morning, Moira. Morning, uh, yeah, I said hello to Faye as well. I'm getting there. Morning, Claudia. Morning, Claire. Lovely table runner. Looking forward to this. Your mother's watching. Good morning, Kate. And good morning, Fiona. Fio it's not difficult. My teeth back in. <laughs> morning Fiona uh, and also to Jenny morning ladies Jeanette hello and Sylv hello and Vicky good morning Vicky has finished her first ever quilt yay my well phone done, started Vicky. buzzing last night I was like what is going on here she's like I finished it now she has that internal struggle of do I gift it or not yes she made it to gift it's like, mm, yeah, but it's but my it's first, first quilt yeah you can't yeah. quite part with yeah, you first I know, one. I know, I know. Uh, Jan's there, Margaret's there. Maureen, good morning. Good morning, hello. She's, look at the lovely hair on you both. Oh, there we go. You've been, you've been in and you done, haven't you? I've been done, I have. <laughs> I have, I have. Lovely Mandy sorted my hair out Just of lovely. Good morning, Helen. Thank you very much. Morning. Good morning, good morning. Who else? We've got Anne as well. Um, Goodies and deals. Yes. Right. They popped up on the group WhatsApp yesterday afternoon after I'd gone home and I was like, mm, I like those. Um, so, a little while ago, I created a pattern which was this. Da -da -da, the visible trim and pom-pom trim cushion. Yes. Okay. So, which is going to create for you a cushion with Don't a visible those. zip. Oh yeah, I mean, we could actually get the actual thing, couldn't we? Yeah, which is rather lovely. Yeah, um, and this actually has a different pom pom trim to it, but this was this was the inspiration behind it. But as Gemma and I were discussing yesterday, whether it's pom pom trim or flange, true, goes in the same way. Yes, absolutely. So actually, what we then decided to do for you at home, because it's all about the sunflowers today, yeah, is. A little bundle. There's a little discount on it. Nice. You get your zip, um, you get your flange, and oh, oh I've and just thrown pull. that. The zip pull, <laughs> it flies across the room. And your Van Gogh. All in there. Lovely. Nice. Yes. And if you've got one of our, you know how to put on the zips, right? Hang on. Yes. Let me just reteach you that very very quickly we've got these on the website um you want to it's flat side down first it. in it goes open your zip up um all facing backwards you see you've got the flat side there then in it goes and that's how you're going to put that zip on if any of you are looking going i don't know how to do that we sell the kits with these and the double-sided tape nice. and instructions on to how to how to because I had to keep going back and looking at Lisa Lamb's 
demo on it and I can always find it. Yes. So that's why, that's how that one came about. And we're going to put the instructions in for free. So if you're just starting out, great place to start. Yeah, nice little kit. Super, super easy, right? I love this colour. Uh, do you want to pop that colour away for me and I'll yeah. show you the next colourway. Because, you know, as much as you like that one, Jane. Oh! Oh, that's a bit rich, isn't it? I know. But look at it with its gorgeous zip. And the zip pull is somewhere. It's inside the fabric. Oh, it's in, yeah, you see, they hide them inside the fabric. So if you're doing like me, going, well, where's the zip pull? Yes. Where is it? It's hidden safely. Did you just take that off? Yeah, I'm going to make the person that buys this kit do it. Jane! Jane! What mean really mean? Right, there's that one. I wouldn't have done that, I'd have left it. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, I love this one too. Oh, that, yeah, well, we do love Oop. a bit of pink. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Soz. Oh, but this has got like a rose goldy one to bring in all the pinks. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Keep that looking at that. Nice I'm and zingy, go isn't it? It really is. And look. Rose gold zip pull. Oh, lovely. It's so all there. Nice. So it's nice. all there, Jane. It's all there. Yes. So you can. You've got enough in here to do the full 20 inch cushion if you want. Front and back. Front Absolutely, and back. Yeah. Absolutely. Job done with some spare. Which for I think these have gone up at 13.99. Oh, what with your instructions. Kids. I know, right? That's great. If you've got like a granddaughter or a niece or a neighbor's daughter that wants to start sewing, this is a great place to start. And it is for that price, pocket you know, money. It's not yeah. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I know. Oh, now you I see, see, I would have yeah, all, all of them. them. Yeah, one of each. And we're gonna, we are for today only gonna pop in your um, your instructions for free. Now it might be you've never had any of our instructions before, in which case you've lucked out. And if you've, and what I would say is that if you've already bought these instructions, why not gift it on to someone else? Yeah, absolutely. And let them have a go. Give them a go. Um, so that is. Um, that is for today. Now, for tomorrow, half me to heavens. Half me to heavens. Ooh, these go live at midnight. So for those of you that have never played with us before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, these go live at midnight, www.natashamakes. If you check out half me to heaven, you will find oodles of designer fabrics paired to perfection, Jane. Lovely. With Very a plane. Nice. So that you get Very a metre nice. of fabric for the paltry sum of £9.99 pence. So, this one is your little ducks in white with silver. That's your silver. So I've picked out the grey. Yeah. So it's just classic. So that if you don't know the flavour of, of said small person, can I just tell you about my small person today who went to school in pants for the first time, not nappies. That's it. Baby's gone. Don't say that. I said where. I said to her, I said, Emily, where's my baby gone? I bet she said, I'm not a baby, I'm a big girl now. Exactly that, Jane. It's like you were there. Because she is a very grown-up young lady. And then she got upset because she had to sit in a baby seat. Nah! Because <laughs> <laughs> she's not a baby. No, I'm not a baby. <laughs> um, I've only got 11 of those and that's it. That's the most I've got of that range. It's because so we just cute. use that as a trim. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And from the same range, and I've only got two of these, is this one. That is so lovely. And I think I was thinking about babies this morning because my sister-in-law goes in to be induced today. Oh, you're going to be an old She's there. going to have a little baby boy. Hopefully by the end of the day if she, you know, cracks on. <gasps> Come on, Izzy. How exciting. Get going, girl. <sighs> I cannot think of anything I would Ooh. least rather be doing. What, having a baby? Oh, no, 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 thank you very much. Cross my legs just at the thought of it. Thank you very much. Um, now, we didn't do this as a colourway yesterday. No. I don't know why, actually. No, I looked it. at that on the on the shelf and I thought, oh, I wonder why they haven't done the cream one. But there wasn't much of it, so maybe that was why. Yeah, I think so. Um, but I just had to pull it with the royal blue. It just pings it. It would be rude not to. Pings the orange as well. That's right. in there. It really, hang on, it's just, should we just have a moment? So if you missed out on my lovely co uh, <coughs> rooster. rooster. <laughs> Let's not upset How much Facebook trouble again. did we get in yesterday? <laughs> um, yeah, so if you missed out yesterday, this you can still do your own version in this. 
don't know. And if you're wondering what we're talking about, because it's a little early for that sort of that sort of thing, apparently, um, then if you just look behind me, this. And we had him in different colourways. We did him in three different yeah, colourways in the end. Stunning. I don't know if we've got any of that left. The um, April sold out. Um, Claire says being induced is no fun. No. No, I can imagine it's not. She says especially if it ends in an emergency caesarean. Mm. No. That's even less fun. I mean, there's no fun around any of that. No. Well, it's no. not the most exciting thing to do in the first place, is it, really? No. <sighs> oh, feels like a good idea at the oh. time, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. They tried that. to do the whole caesarean thing with me and Freddie. I was having none of it. So, no, thanks. You're all right. You can keep that. None of that. Um, now, this is the last of the Lewis and Irene. That is such a pretty fabric. Isn't it beautiful? I just love the little bees. Gorgeous. Um, we had fun with this, didn't we? Because... Because yes, we were like, that fabric shouldn't go with that. And, it and does. yet, yeah. ridiculously, it does. It so, so well. So you've got all your little bees, your be be oh beehive, mm -hmm. and all of that, all of that jazz in there. Um, so that's for tomorrow. I've only got two of these left. This is your Japanese chrysanthemum with sky. Um, yes, yes, and thrice yes. Stunning. I know I've got it upside down, Jane. Hang on, bear with. I'll top it the box. It's um, lovely. Yes. Just zings again, that lovely sky turquoise. Just Isn't it beautiful? Nice. Absolute stunner, right? Uh, so, yeah, I've got two, and that's that gone. I've got six of these. Now, this is um, coleus, but I've put it with spearmint. Ooh. Ooh! I was looking at coleus yesterday as well and thinking you could cut feather shapes out of this. You really could. You really could. You could do all sorts of goodies with yeah. it. Um, another one that... It's one of those fabrics that you get so many different just lends ideas. itself from. Um, I have four left. I love the oh, I know, nice. but I've pulled it with a peacock. Smashing. I mean, I like and I've I've got four. Four. What does it say? It says mauve on the bolt. Yeah. She said, yeah, no. So I love it's this. Really funny. I love how we all argue with really it, but it says mauve. It, no, but it's this bit that they go yes. by. It's not the it's main really colour. It's because the mauve one looks quite pink. But we always argue about <laughs> we it. We do, we say, do you think they put the wrong button <laughs> on the wrong bolt? And, you know, is, is it somebody's mistake? What about that with your Millie Fury? I love that. I love how the line just pings that. Ping, 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 ping. Um, Julia says, he's a fabulous rooster. Thank you very much. Um, oh, Ali's late. She can't stay long. But it's nice of you to put in an appearance, Ali. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Jane was induced with both of hers. Alex still took 36 hours. <gasps> But Belle only took seven. I was induced with Freddie and I was there for three days. All of that fat, he was just Cornish. He was just Cornish full and through. He was just going to be there directly yeah. in his own time. Boy. Yeah. And that was it. Once yeah. I had him. Both of my boys didn't want to hang around. No. I was out within three hours. Four and two with mine. Crikey. <laughs> I was about feeding the horses by lunchtime. Yeah. I had him at birth gym at three. Feeding the horses at midday. Thank That's you very much. That's how you do it. Absolutely. Um, oh, whoever gets this one's lucked out. There's just, it's the end of bolt. Look, they've got yeah, a bit yeah. extra. Extra in that one. Uh, this is your brassica yellow and royal. I've gone royal again because just, oh, wow. It just really sets off the yellows. Doesn't but it? things the pinks at the oh, same time. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, brassica sky and sapphire. This is my favourite. I mean, I love this. This rude and then, not is to. It the neutral. Oh, the Russell, neutral's lovely yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just going through, Jane, and we've just got like odd skiddly bits. Like I've got five of these, and that's it. Then it's done. Yeah. Done. Once it's gone, it's gone. Done. Four of this. That's all I've got. Oh. <gasps> but doesn't it look lovely with the aqua? It does. It really sings yeah. it. Yeah. It's very subtle, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Because the colours are quite muted. There's rose in there as well, and I normally put it with rose because it goes with a lipstick. But today, no, something a bit different. I've got four of the Peony Brocade, Jane. Peony brocade. It would be rude not to. Yeah, just... Not to. Well, so I did. Yeah. Because I'm not rude. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it depends who you talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And then this one, I've only got three. And then it's done. Yeah, another one. This of my is the favorites. moss flower. Yeah. But look at that with that chartreuse. It's beautiful. Um, I just, 
like to say chartreuse. I like now that I've learned how to say it. I can't say it without it with, without doing it in a funny voice. It's just one of those words that you have to say that way. They are your half meter heavens. They go live tomorrow, and I rather love them. Jane, shall we talk kits for today? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we're making this today, the table runner today. Jane has done a pattern and you can buy the pattern at $6.99 or we have, we have an option for you. The kits for just the front are coming in at $19.99, aren't they? Yes. Like really, really reasonable, really, really affordable. Um, and then we thought, but then you always get to that stage where you then need to back it. Yes. And then you have to rummage through your stash and go, do I have a metre and a half? Because it's just that bit, well, it's exactly width of fabric. So when you're quilting, if you don't get it quite right, it'll squid you in and you'll have a bit left. So we've put it plenty enough in yes. to do it the other way around. So you'll get it. And you will have a lot left over. Yeah, will. You'll so, be able to make matching cushions and all sorts. So what we've done is we've given you two different options. I'm waggling my finger quite a <laughs> lot about this. I do realise. Um, so here are your options. If... I can wag on my finger, but it's not actually going to... Ah, there we, there go. we go. So, if you would like the option on the wall with your Philip Jacobs Van Gogh, um, and that, so you can make exactly what's on the wall, then you can buy either that kit, and that's 19.99, Yeah. and then add in your pattern. Dink. Or, 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 if you want to add in, and we've got this as a separate... Bundle. Bundle completely yeah. with with the Lucy, Philip Jacobs Lucy as your back as your backing. That's thank you. That's <laughs> the word. If you go for that option, bearing in mind you're going to have a load. There's a meter and a half there of that, that left is over. More than you yeah. need, absolutely. More or less double because we're doing it the other yeah. way rather than the width of fabric. Um, then we'll give you the pattern for free. Wonderful. We're also going to make a donation today to. I couldn't work out how to do a proportion and this, that and the other, so I'm just going to donate. I'd love a cup of tea, yes, please, Jim. So that is option numero uno. That's very generous of you, Natasha. Thank you. That's right. My pleasure. It's only there, but by the grace of God, right? Yeah, you know? exactly. We were watching it. Mum and I were talking about it yesterday and just saying, you can't imagine. We just happened to be born in a, in a better place. Yeah. That's all. Um, so, 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 this is option number two. Love this too. Yes, yes, yes. Jane Sassaman, you got the bump bees. Oh, look cute bees on there. So instead of the lighter sort of chambray, is that a chambray? Is that it is no, chambray. It yes. is chambray. Again, um, I went with that sort of movie tone mm, to, to nice. pull out the yellows. Uh, so, blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, this is your other option. So pretty much the same, but your background colour is that. And then you've got this for your Borders border so you're going to see yeah. you're really going to see those bees um and again if you want that 19.99 if you want meter and a half of your backing fabric we will put in the pattern for free wonderful wonderful it's a nice little saving in yeah, there yeah it is yeah yeah morning mary morning Elaine. so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to get out of the way um, Julia says it's all those shades of purple with cave. Really, don't need any more. Well, yeah, you do. Um, it's impossible not to need any more cave. Not in no, my world. No, I don't think so. Not in my world. Um, Jess says, "Oh, Jane, nice hair." I'm Thanks, going Jess. to get mine cut in a couple of weeks. Tempted to go for a layered bob. Oh, Jess, that would nice. look lovely. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's so much easier to look after. <laughs> it's just well, it's the trouble with mine is that mine's very fuzzy. Well, you've got a curl, haven't you, in yours? I've got a curl, yeah. But it doesn't always want to just do that curl thing. Yeah. Um, so, 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 I'm just, I've just wandered off. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> just like... Just wandered off. Bye! Bye, <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs> I'm just going to go and sit in my comfy chair over here. Swivel a bit. Because um, I can. I'm going to leave Jane. Look, you see, Jane's all tidy now. Look can I um, just talk about a book? Yeah, go for it. Um... Gem and I went to the trade show without Natasha, <laughs> which was probably the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I was busy stomping down the downs. You were. Yeah. Um, and we came across the Search Press people, who we have books off from before, and we were looking at everything. And I said to Gemma, I've got this book and I love it. Our customers may love it. It's called The Quilter's Bible. It's upside down. 
But if we go up, oh, close up, straight above, that's it. It's called The Quilter's Bible. It's by Linda Clements. Um, I love Linda Clements. She's, I think she's probably made every technique of patchwork that we've ever done before. It's a brilliant book. There's not many patterns in it. There's some little um, things to make, but the pattern is not extensive but it goes through every single technique and all of the things that you might need to do patchwork and quilting. It's very ex um, in extensive. All your tools that you'll need, all the types of material, the different types of fabric and how they react. How they react? Your interfacings and your waddings, the different types of waddings and again what they're best suited for. Um, choosing colours put the colour wheel in there and explain how that works and the common colour terms and um, buying and storing your fabric. Thank you Gemma, you're a store. And then working out how much fabric you need for things which is quite one it's of an the art. things that you sometimes can struggle with particularly when you're first starting out because it's very tempting to just buy fat quarters of everything because you like it, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but sometimes you'll find you haven't got enough. So, and then it goes through all the cutting and safety and all of that. And then there's some scrappy quilts, patterns, basic patterns. Oh, Jess says, I gave that book to my niece for Christmas. It's a great book. She it is, it's fabulous. It. And Emma says, I have that book. It's so good. It is. It's a brilliant book. Every single patchwork technique you can possibly think of and some you probably never have thought of. It's got, um, there's a lovely one here for the puffed quilt where you, you make little pockets and stuff them with wadding, which are lovely for babies. I love that one. Um, there's a whole section on applique and some appliques, again, that you may not have heard of. There's the basic, you know, sewing around it. There's a little pattern in there for a daisy cock quilt. But there's, um, in here, there's reverse applique. I put all these tags on and now I can't find where they are. <laughs> shadow applique. I remember my mum making some um, a little cock quilt for somebody with the shadow applique and you put your applique on and then you put like a layer of um, sheer fabric over the top and then quilt oh, wow. through that oh, and wow. it gives it like a lovely soft, it softens, Ooh. softens the applique. So that's a lovely technique to try. And then of course there's the bias stripped applique like the stained glass windows that we've done. All things like that. Um, what was the other one I marked? Oh, here, shisha, shisha, I think it's called. It's a type of embroidery and they use that, um, in, it's an Indian technique and you've, you've probably seen it with the mirrors behind. Quite often you'll see bags or pe the bottom of people's skirts with that on. That's quite nice. There's all sorts of um, information about hand quilting. There's information about your machine quilting, the type of feet you need changing your throat plate. It's very thorough. It is. It's absolutely everything you could possibly want to know really. Um, there's the whole section about finishing off. There's a section here um, with embroidery stitches, all the different types of embroidery stitches as well, which are useful for, you know, embellishing and things like that. And it's got a little fap flap in there so that when you find what you want to to mark, oh, you can perfect. keep it in. And it, it's on both sides. So it's a really it's a really lovely book to have and it's the sort of book that you'll have on your bookshelf that you go back to time and time again because you'll think, oh, I remember seeing that in there. Oh, I there you go. Well, Annie's just said, I have the Quilters Bible, one of the best gifts Paul gave me some years ago. Yeah. There's fab box in there. And then says, I've just been gifted this <laughs> book by a lovely friend. Jane's just breaking everything. I'm just breaking the set. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I've had a request. There we go. So I'm just going to stick my head in here right, and say, Vicky, Looks like that. Would you like to do something artistic with that, Jane? Just that. We'll, always, we'll always help where we can. Please, could you just um, show me what those look like together, please? Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah, 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 we can do that. Oh, look. Oh, look. There you go. I think the answer is beautiful. Stunning. Because, you see, now Vicky's going to have to make another quilt. Yes. To gift quite quickly. Absolutely, because um, you can't bear to bear part with the one that she's taken. No, exactly. Learning on. Yeah. So uh, there you go, Vic. Hope that helps. Stunning. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So, 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 so. 
Right, shall Come I make then, this Jane. sunflower? Let's get these sunflowers underway. Right, you have got in your pattern some templates. If you have this as a digital download, please make sure that you print it off actual size. Yes. Make sure your settings are right, otherwise All of it that. won't come together properly. No. And you'll be cross with me and it won't be my fault. Well. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think There's always someone fault. to blame, right? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the blame, it'll be fine. Yeah. I've got broad shoulders, it's okay. Oh, no, so, don't, don't blame our Jane. Before you start doing anything, trace your, um, templates off with the template plastic amazing you'll need the circle with the seam allowance if they have got a um circle cutter fiscars circle cutter how big is that circle, um, how know? big is it it is approximately six and a half oh, so you just go on the six yeah the you six, six inch if circle, you went on the six inch circle on there you'd be fine because um you'd have enough and take trace off your wedge with the quarter of an inch seam. Then trace off the circle on the inside. And I actually just cut mine out after I'd, I, I copied it again and cut, and cut it out and placed it on some card. And it only needs to be thin card, cereal box is ideal. That sort of weight of card, quite thin but firm. So you'd have the three templates. That's the inner circle. That's your template with the outer circle on it and then your wedge. We've got some and great suggestions for Vicky here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Dunham, buy a quilt, gift it, and keep the one you made. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, it's a thought, right? Yeah. And it, was the, it is the thought that counts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So from your yellow and gold fabric, you are going to need to cut, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 of each of the gold and 10 of each of the sunshine. And then you will need to mark quarter of an inch either side of the point. Right. And that's the reason for that will be explained later, but we're basically going to turn it over and it's it's the hem. Okay? Given all the secrets away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pair them up and we're going to sew um, down the one side to make them into pairs. You will need to do that with eight pairs so that leaves two two lots of each color unsewn it's okay. all in the instructions i'm probably making it sound more complicated than it is but it's it's clearer in the instructions we're now going to sew the pairs together but we're going to start on that hem line there now i've put the lighter yellow on the top so just be consistent yeah make sure that when they're sewn together you've got the darker yellow on the left on the left hand side on the dark side okay so i'm just going to sew these with a quarter of an inch seam to make them into pairs so you would have eight pairs once you've done everything that you need to do oh there's a little bit of um <laughs> because I keep currently I keep telling myself to be good and gift it it's for a baby and I won't realistically ever use it myself I'd be keeping it just because it was my first one it's like it's your own baby quilt yeah but it's not you say you're keeping it just because but it is your first quilt and there's a, there's a lot they're nice to look back on your very yeah. first quilt it's nice to look back on because as you get more confident and you do try more things and your skill level gets better and all of that and you go back and you look at that and first you look one. at it and you think wow because you'll be really proud of it and justifiably yeah because it's a big thing but she says whereas if i gift it hopefully it will be used and loved so i'm trying to be strong yeah. but i'll tell you next week how that goes you see the thing is vicky i think you have a certain cat that would love it anyway yeah and we all know that quilts are basically just another word for a cat blanket. A cat blanket, yeah, because yeah, cats love them. Uh, Lo says the baby won't know. They have a quilt. They yeah. know nothing but pooing and eating. Go buy one. <laughs> ah. You could applique <laughs> its right name. It, yeah. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so yeah. just, I'm sorry, their name. That yes. sounds better. Yeah. And then you've still done something personal. So I've pressed the seams open on these just because it will help it lie flatter. Oops. And because we're going to ultimately applique it onto a, a background square, 
Bless you. Dear, poor Jem. It's Gemma. <laughs> I think she's having another fibro crash oh, in there. <laughs> um, it does, you know, it's going to be protected because quite often we'll press the seams to one side and it just protects the line of stitch. But because we're going to applique it, it's going to be a protected. So once you've got the pairs all joined together, you're going to then join them together in fours, ensuring that they go alternate, light and dark. And again, don't sew that quarter of an inch seam. Start underneath that quarter inch. Perfect. Vicky says she's got four little people things to make first. I'm going to have to... You put me I'm to shame. Have kept busy. I'm going to have to start making little person things for the little person that should be arriving today. Today. Exactly. Exactly. She says you're all wonderfully terrible influences. I... I mean, we resemble that remark. Yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. So you'll end up with four oh. sets of four. Well, this um, is looking rather fabulous. On one of them, they look like crowns. Well, on two of them, actually, you're going to put fabric, I think this is fabric B, but the lighter one on the left-hand side. And then on the other two, you're going to put fabric C, the darker one, on the right-hand side, just so that you've got the altern alternating colours. Cool. So you're making them into sets of five, basically, but two, two one way and two the other way. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing, Gemma, but I am. Oh, bless her. She sat there with a the tissue stuffed up at each nostril. Oh, thank you. That's all right. It's a good look. No, nothing is sacred. Nothing sacred. No, no, no. When Gemma made her, um, her tissue box cover, do people still have tissue boxes? She's like, yes, especially if you have fibro, yes. <laughs> so she reminds me of this regularly. Yes. And goes, this is why we have them. Oh, yeah. Bless her. <laughs> bless her. Lowe's on a baby rant. Oh dear. Buy them toys or teddy bears. They only puke on things. We get anything. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. It is true. But. Um, Alison, miss the beginning. Does buying this kilt help support Ukraine? So, Alison. Um... I off, off the back of today's show, I will be giving a donation. Um, so inadvertently, yes. And then if you and we've also if you've done the if you buy the kit with the backing, we're going to give you the pattern for free. So there are ways for you to then use the fabric. You're getting it at a discount. If you're spending over 50 pounds, you can use your five or 50. So we've put lots of lots of goodies on for yes, you today that's right. um, to help you afford. Well, you know, and it all these kinds of things we Absolutely. also put all the jane sassaman fabrics yesterday didn't we we had those on a discount for you yesterday because they had lots of sunflowers on so we are doing our best and we've still got the blue and the gold somewhere on the website yes which is a ridiculously low well basically it cost yeah so that you can make there was a lady that was making teddy bears wasn't she? yeah she's then going to send for the children in ukraine yeah so yeah we're trying to help you to help to make your craft projects you know as best we can but this is where we need to come together and yesterday yeah. was international women's day and it's so important for women to support women absolutely um absolutely. and that's what we do blue and gold bundles at the top of the collection. oh blue and gold's at the top of the collection there we go well, oh you want all of these now don't you oh. so i'm going to play i'm going to sew the two quarters that we've made together and again just ensuring that we're alternating colorways oh would you like there we go i'll do that so everyone can see so you can see we've got one that starts with a dark and ends with a dark and one that starts with a light and ends with a light. They go together and you've got a semicircle then alternating petals. You know when you miss part of a thread of a conversation? Yeah. I'm just left with Myra going, I got one stuck out my ear. Oh, <laughs> but I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, tissues maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Could I don't be. know. Myra, what have you got sticking out your ear? Is it a tissue? Morning, Carol. Have you got earache? I don't know. I'm not sure. So really not sure. You will end up with two lots of semicircle. Nice. Now, the reason I haven't just gone round sewing them together, one after the other, is that they will stretch if you do that. It's much easier to do that in the segments and then join the segments together because you've got quite a lot of biased edges and things going on. So once you've got the two halves, you join those together. It's 
It looks like um, a big lion's mane. Yes, you could certainly change it, couldn't you? You could do it, just do the Dresden plate, put the, the brown circle in the middle and embroider a lion's face on it. <laughs> Lo is also confused. She's wondering if Myra has a baby or a quilt stuck out of her ear. <laughs> I mean, all things are possible, right? <laughs> I don't think she has overly large ears. I'm sure not. Oh, 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 Jane needs to decide what colours to use for the backing and binding on her shaggy, um, cave shaggy frame quilt. Ooh. Also, it's cave. I've decided to get it professionally put together. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, because it's cave. Have you, um, have you seen the Millie Fury uh, super wide backing, Jane, <coughs> that we've got in yes, cave? Yes, it's a bit gorgeous. You know, just saying, would go rather beautifully. It's sitting on the side here, Jane. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much we've got left of it or if it's even loaded. Gem, is it loaded? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what you've got then is you've got your circle. Now, if you remember, I said about marking that quarter of an inch. At this point now, you would go and you would press that over. And what I did is I went round pressing them all one way and then went round and pressed them the other side backwards just because right. it was a bit quicker I think yeah but just pressing it over on that seam line so that you've got like a hem in effect and I tacked it down because it made it easier to handle you don't have to do that if you don't wish to because right. you might like to just zigzag it or satin stitch around the edge but I liked the hem defect and I I'd used an applique stitch and stitched mine down so your background square for the um, sunflower, if you fold that into quarters, so in half and half again, so you've got the quarter marks through there, you can then line up your sunflower, making sure that it's sitting on those marks. So you've got your two quarters there and your two lines there. And then you know that that's in the middle mm. of your background square. And you would, as I say, if you folded it over, you might just want to use an applique stitch or you could use a button stitch, buttonhole stitch, blanket stitch, and do that. If you wanted to leave the edges raw, you could do a zigzag or a satin stitch to do okay. it around if you didn't want to spend all the time pressing your hem under. It's entirely up to you. It's your quilt. You can do what you wish with it. I'm really confused now because in reply to Myra having one stuck out of her ear, yeah. Which we're still not sure quite what it is. What it is. Um, Elizabeth says you're supposed to swallow them, silly Billy. I still don't know <laughs> what she's talking about because in my head it's Definitely a tissue. Not and it's not well, babies. Definitely not babies. You Surely not babies. babies. No. Crikey. Couldn't so eat I'm just a whole going one. to pin this on for the sake on, of then. demonstration purposes. units there Gemma. Crikey, I know I've just dropped that. Um, oh no, I know, I know. Uh, would you like that little that little skilly bit there? Do you want to just throw that into Jane just to show everyone? Because when we say that there's Mini Fury backing fabric, um, it wasn't a... actually loaded, which would explain why it wasn't selling. Well, that's that's slightly more than half a metre width there, but the width, it's 108 wide so it's Ridiculously wide. wide. Twice that width. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? Look at it. Look at it, it's stunning. Back a quilt beautifully. And um, we've got 17 units of that. Yeah. Stunning. Stunning. I love Millie Fury. I love the pattern because it's so, it's so busy. You use it as a quilt back here and it's quite forgiving. You know, if you're new to quilting and everything, you don't have to worry too much about what your back looks like when you've got a busy fabric. That's perfect. Right, so I've just pinned that on for demonstration purposes, but as I say, you can either um, fold it under, like I said, and do that with an applique stitch, or sew very close to the edge with your straight stitch on your machine. You could use a um, blanket stitch, that would look quite pretty. 
or you can leave them raw edged and you could do a satin stitch or a zigzag stitch, whichever you prefer. Beautiful. The options are all there for you to do with what you wish. So you take your circle template on the template plastic and you trace that um, around onto your brown fabric for the centre of the um, sunflower. I used the sew line marker. I thought I'd brought mine with me, but I didn't. Um, because again, it's got all those options on it. So you can use it for tracing on your template plastic with the pencil side of it, and then tracing your fabric with the chalks that are in there. I've got the one with the pink and the white in, but even if you just got the, the, the pencil, the, the white and the tracer, the white works on all of the fabrics. So you're going to run a, a running stitch all the way around the edge of your center and then you'll take your cardboard template that you cut out, place that in the middle of the fabric and draw your gather up like so. Just tie the ends of your gather stitch off. I've used a poly polyester thread for my gather because it's slightly stronger and tends not to snap as much as the cotton fabric does. Once you've got it gathered up, take it to your iron and just give it a press, press those edges in flat. You might want to just heavily spray it with your best press or your starch just to give it a crisp edge. Yeah. Um, mm. It just holds it in to make the seam on there. And then once you've done that, you just gently ease the cardboard out and you've got a nice um, circle then with the edges folded over. Let's cut those threads. I don't bother taking the gather out because it's going to be hidden anyway. And you can place that over those raw edges oh, perfect. of your circle. So all is gathered in. And it's all hidden out of the way and it gives a nice edge to it as well. Vicky says, Jane, this is gorgeous. So, thank you, Vicky. Just pin that in place and then um, again you can either just, I, I did a, a running stitch very close to the edge because there isn't much um, root between the, the, the edge of the, the sunflower and the edge of the flower so I, I sewed it very very close to the edge there but you could do a buttonhole stitch and I was thinking afterwards, I thought, actually, if you did a zigzag and had it coming out, it would make it even look more like the centre of the yeah, sunflower, yeah, giving yeah. it a bit of a fuzzy edge. So, yeah, or you can do it by hand again. If, if you like sewing by hand, this is a really nice block to do by hand. So, yeah, you would sew that all the way round. I haven't got brown thread on, so I'm not going to do it now. I'll take it back and do it later. Um, I mean, just that on its own. You could make a beautiful would be cushion. Would be a lovely cushion. You know, yeah, if you, really even would. if you used your... Sash that. Gorgeous. Added a border onto it. Lovely. You know, all the way around. That would make a beautiful cushion. Perfect. So that block on its own. And then the other two blocks are very simple. They're half square triangles. <laughs> Lo is horrified that you might even mention doing it by hand. Yes. <laughs> 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 doesn't like hands, does she? No. Um, so the centre square I fussy cut from my border fabric. Now what I would say to you... Have you got you, enough fabric to do that yes. safely? What I would say to you is cut your borders first right. according to the pattern and then you can cut from what's left over. Okay. There is enough, there's yeah. plenty enough. Okay. Um, but I would, I would cut your borders first just in case you're tempted to cut in too far into your fabric and sure. you don't then have enough. But you, there's plenty enough. You're going to cut um, squares of your light and dark yellow and on four, two of each of those squares, so four squares all together but two light, two dark, you're just simply going to cut those in half across the diagonal, corner to corner. So you end up with a total of, you'll end up with four of the light. I mean, I know I've only got two of each, but you will end up with, with four of each of those. Perfect. And then you're going to make half square triangles. So from your background fabric, 
um, you'll cut your squares and then you will have um, your light and your dark fabrics. Mm -hmm. Shall I put my pen in? Never mind. I'll pinch yours. <laughs> Hello, so Shona, I don't mind you sewing it by hand before you send it to me. <laughs> As with all your other projects that must be building up to send. Yeah, I'm just yeah. building full a box full of them now. You'll just get <laughs> a big box one of these days. <laughs> Full of my projects. How dare None you of them call will be my finished, mind you. You might have to finish them yourself. <laughs> How dare you call my lorry <laughs> a box? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to mark your diagonal from corner to corner. I think in the pattern, because I was doing it with the light, the, the chambray fabric, I said to mark it on your fabric A. And you can certainly do that with your um, imperial fabric, but you would need like a short marker or something. But equally, you can mark it on your um, yellow fabrics. And we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of that marked line. Oh, Elizabeth said that she never did anything by hand until she came across Tilly Rose. <gasps> I must ring her. I was meant to ring her last week. Gemma, will you mind me to ring Tilly when we come off air, please? Thank you. There is something about um, stitching by hand. It's very relaxing. Can you mind me to ring Tilly? Elizabeth just mentioned her and the things like, oh, yes, no, I meant to ring her. Thank you, Elizabeth. Between us all, we'll actually remember all my to-do lists, right? Yes. <laughs> I have to say a huge thank you to Lizzie. I have messaged her, but um, Elizabeth Crangle has made me the most beautiful pincushion, which I don't think I'll be able to use as a pincushion because it's so lovely. Some things you can't, can you? I just I don't just know that I can bear to put pins in it. So intricate. It's, it's so just beautiful. It's stunning. It's a she made a cathedral window runner for her mum, and then with the offcut, she's made me a little tiny, tiny, tiny... Cathedral window pincushion using the, is it Biscorno, where you do the two squares and turn them Oh, around. yes, 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 yes. Um, method. And it is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It made me just get a little bit teary, to be honest, because I couldn't believe that somebody would make something so lovely for me, which was really oh, nice. Oh, Jane. But you make lovely things for people all the time. Yes. So it's, you know... When you make things for people, you know how much work goes into stuff. So when somebody does it for you, I think you appreciate it, it's it all the more. You all the more, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very true, very true. Well, this is coming together a treat, it's isn't beautiful, it? beautiful, isn't it? Mm. It's lovely, this purple with the yellow. It just zings it, doesn't it? It does. So. I'm just pressing the seams to the one side on the half square triangles and because it's a dark purple I'm pressing it towards the purple just so that it doesn't shadow into the yellow. So you'll have all of these half square triangles um, sewn to so many um, light yellow and so many dark yellow. For each block you're going to need to put two of your half square triangles to one side of the dark and two of the, the light. And then you're going to sew the rest into pairs. Now, we need to have them so that you've got two sets with the dark yellow on the left and two sets with the light yellow on the left. It's all written in the instructions explaining this, but it's just... <laughs> you don't have to remember. This is why we do detailed yes. instructions. Um, <clears throat> because we've pressed the seam the same way you haven't got that opportunity to nest the seam so I would recommend that you just pop a pin in on the top one it helps you remember which side you're sewing on right yep and two it just keeps those seams together so that they you get a nice crisp point when you join them it's having all these processes in place isn't it you know yeah. and and then sticking to them and not going rogue as I sometimes do and then go oh no well sometimes you think oh I'll be all right I'll, I'll be fine but you'll find that you'll get <clears throat> some of them they'll be perfect and then you'll get two or three and it's just dropped down just a fraction and it's just really annoying and particularly on a dark background yeah. you can see it 
No, you so don't just want popping it. a pin in just stops that frustration, really. Yeah, uh, Vicky says, you should have seen my face when Gemma told me to hand sew the binding to the back of the quilt. <laughs> uh, she said, but I did I as I was told. That. That's my favourite part. Yeah, Sitting yeah. Sitting no, with I the quilt on my knee. Machine stitch. And <clears> then hand sewing it. I, miss I do machine stitch, I'm not going to lie, particularly when I've got to get one done quickly. Do you know, that's that's when I miss HP most, is when I'm hand stitching stuff. Yeah, because she, she would always... sit on your knee, wouldn't she? But she is the most spoiled pussycat with my grandparents. I'm so pleased to hear that. She's They've, so um, They don't call her HP, they call her happy. Yes, because she is a And she happy just, cat. she's permanently on her lap. Honestly, it was the most heartbreaking, but best thing that I did. Yes. And it's so lovely for your grandparents as well because they've got someone. Oh, to, they've to, yeah, they've to share their love with. They, you know, and they just they just dote on HP, and she's just you know in her she's in her dotage as well, so yes. she should be doted on. Yeah. But she's got lots of little cat toys and all sorts of stuff, and um, she's having a fine old time. Lovely. Oh, so. morning, Lisa. She says hello, Miss Jane and Miss Natasha. Looking lovely, I must say. How are you, Lisa? It's lovely. So, you'll have two right, sets, yes. and they're like flying geese units, yep. but with um, made from half square triangles. Yes. Your square that you cut for the centre, you are going to sew two triangles of the light to the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. and to find the, the middle, so that you make sure that they are central. Just give that a finger press through the middle of there, and then fold your triangles in half, line them up and just again just give that a finger press and then right sides together you'll just line those two creases up and again you can put a pin in that if you wish to um, just to hold it while you take it to the machine you're going to sew a quarter of an inch sew those triangles to the sides of your squares um, Lowe's let the cat out of the bag she says that don't tell anyone but she does red work not that she would ever actually admit it I thought you did red work. Oh no, who was I was talking to again? Oh no, I was talking to somebody yesterday who said that they, they did red work but in black. Yes, I've seen people that do it in, in blue as well. It's yeah. Quite... Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you can get it all sorts of. Julia does a bit on her embroidery machine. Is that not cheating? <laughs> I'll have a good cheat. Um, this is coming together, Jane, much quicker than I thought. Yeah, it's it's not um, an over-facing pattern. It's very simple piecing, and the Dresden plate block is not hard to do. It's a lovely. It's one of those blocks that looks more intricate than it necessarily is. I think it's like anything; you just have to have a system with it. Yeah, you know, and, and work methodically. Yeah. So you're going to sew your triangles to the top and bottom of your the sides Ooh. of your square. Yeah. And then you're going to sew the darker yellow onto the other side. Beautiful. And again, I'm just finger pressing that to get a crease in the middle, folding my triangles and then lining those two creases up to ensure that my um, triangles are in the centre of the sides. So that we get an even seam allowance on each edge of the square. Um, Philip's joined us. Morning, Philip. He says, I'm very pleased that you're using his sunflowers. That's good. Um, They're very said, nice sunflowers to you. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got we've got um, Philip's sunflowers, which are on the one on the back wall, and we're demoing today in Jane Sassman's. So we're spreading the love all over the place. And he says, and I see this is I love it when Philip joins us because he always gives us a bit more of an insight into his fabrics. Yeah. Um, he said that the Van Gogh fabric uh, was originally launched by his Snow Leopard brand, but Kaif did some extra new colours in 2021. It's the first time that I've seen it under the KFC banner, I yes. have to say. Yeah. Um, which is just lovely. And Jill's just got back from a dog walk and she wants to know what she's missed. Lots of bargains, lots of lovely snow, uh, sunflower based projects. Ooh, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. And then, um, Philip, we we have also, we've got four different colourways of your Van Goghs. Uh, you see, Gemma and I still have arguments over whether it's Van Gogh or Van Gogh. I always just say Van Gogh until um, our, our art teacher, I spent however long under her tutelage. Yes. And she always used to say Van Gogh. Yeah. So now I don't I know. think it's one of those scones scones things, unless you actually talk to Vincent van Gogh himself, 
And he wouldn't be able to hear you anyway. No, as to how he would like his surname pronouncing. (laughs) (laughs) So you're going to take um, your two, I'm going to call them flying geese units, with the dark yellow on the right hand side, left hand side, sorry Gemma, Uh, (laughs) (laughs) and place those against the sides of the squares so that the triangles meet up together. And again, you can see on here, because of the darkness of the fabric underneath, you can see that that seam line there sits on the point of the square there where mm. the seams meet. And again, you can pin that in place or just go for it. But it should they should line up with the square. The measurements just are worked out for so it. it does. Yeah, oh, Gemma's going to make some for our book for a neighbour. Oh, lovely. The one that's just lost her husband. Yeah. Who was our teacher as well. We're surrounded by it. See, when you don't go that far from where you went to school. No, I'm the same. Ooh, hang on. Because although I didn't live in the, vi- the village where I live in now, our school was in that village, so we went to school there. So I know a lot of people from school that still live in the village it's quite and there's a couple of teachers that still live there as well yeah i think it took Gemma a little bit of time to adjust when she really it's one of those things isn't it teachers just they don't feel like real people no and, and so then when you're even when you're an adult and one moves in as your next door neighbor it's still a bit strange <laughs> yeah i was i worked as um a school cook and I went to the to the to the school that I was at middle school at and the head teacher was still the head teacher there when I went so the first week that I was there they said oh we'll put you out in the hall serving the puddings because it's it's a little bit you know it's not quite so daunting and you're you know you've only got two puddings to serve and it's it's not too difficult to you know sort out it was an infant school by this time right so I was like yeah okay I can do that so I'm standing there, it's like a hot cupboard trolley thing yeah. out in the school hall and all the children are around and they're coming up and they're being served and they're being children and they're being quite noisy and, and talking and chattering and laughing and what have you. And I'm serving them and I'm just, you know, I'm not really, I'm just looking at the children. Unbeknownst to me, the headmaster used to come and have his lunch with the children every lunchtime. Yeah. And he'd choose a different table to sit at and he's a lovely man, but he's still the head teacher. The head teacher, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes in, I hadn't seen him, and he suddenly went, right, quiet now, in his best head teacher voice. Yep, and there is one. Yep. And I went, <laughs> <laughs> because he was still the head teacher. Yeah, and he so saw he me and he just creased up laughing at me. <laughs> but it was so funny because it took me ages to, you know, forget that he was the head teacher you know he was just a human being yeah liked you know I used to joke with the kids that I taught I just got got wheeled into a cupboard at the end of the day and and there was a moment where some of the year sevens just looked at me like I was telling the truth (laughs) because I live here yeah I I just don't go home so we're going to take the other two sets of flying geese units the ones with the light yellow on the left hand side and we're going to place the half square triangles on each side but alternate heat ones and making sure that the yellow is against the background colour so they sit that way. Again if you want to have a play and turn them around and see what it looks like when you do that to it Mm -hmm. you certainly can. So the Van Gogh um, debacle continues yeah Jane Um, and we've got Claire who says it's neither it's Van Gogh (laughs) <laughs> yes, I was going to say, if you're Dutch, you probably pronounce it completely differently. With a throaty ha <laughs> at the end. Oh, no. Yeah. Van ha oh, ha. Oh, I don't know. Van Gogh, um, I think. She says, I know this because of a documentary I watched, and they asked a Dutch art critic how to say it. Well, I mean, that's your mistake, isn't it? Yeah. You don't, you don't. There's a reason it's called double Dutch. <laughs> 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 no clue. Honestly, could you imagine? I struggle with English half the time, let alone Dutch. Yeah. Jane says, I love your sunflowers. Um, as well as my daughter, who has asked for a happy sun, a sunny, happy sunflower quilt. Guess I know what my next project will be. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And Margaret says, because she's Scottish, she she just pronounces it like Loch Van Gogh. Yes. Van Gogh. Yeah. 
that makes sense, I suppose. Uh, Lisa just says that she's never going to let any of us hear how an Aussie pronounces it. <laughs> I kind of like that. I love that about languages, how they vary, how they yeah. differ. We were I talking about this the other day and, you know, the difference between, um, you know, just areas. Yeah. You know, the difference in vowel sounds and, and things like that. Um, it's really interesting because quite often I don't think I've really got an accent and then somebody will say, I know that my I pronounce my vowels quite flat. Yeah, compared that's to you a Midland and, thing. Yeah, yeah, compared to you and Gemma who speak properly. Well, I, I don't know. We seem. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't and speak that's how I used to when I lived in Sussex. And you see, my dad was from London, so yeah. he would say grass and glass. Yes. But my mum is from Staffordshire, so it would be the flat vowel grass and laugh and yeah. that sort of thing. So I was constantly being corrected from my <laughs> <way> of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember going to work, and the first time, and I was sitting in the the canteen, and the one lady said to me, "You do speak posh, don't you?" <laughs> and I said, "What do you mean?" She said, "Well, you just say yes. You don't say yeah or anything like that. I used to say yes." speak properly. Proper I had a grand, like. and my nana was a teacher so she was always asking us to speak properly as well using the proper way of speaking. <laughs> the Queen's English. Yes. And I see yeah it's difficult isn't it and then if you leave an area. Yes. And, and, and you sort of dilute your accent a little bit. Well I, this is what Charlie Isaac's wife was saying because they're from Oxfordshire mm. and Isaac obviously has a similar accent to me there's these flat vowels and all that and uh, she said it's quite funny when he goes when they go to visit us he drops back into his Staffordshire accent quite quickly yeah but she notices it more when we're all together <laughs> yeah no absolutely absolutely so we're going to add those strips now to the top and bottom of that block and you can see them that makes that shape Beautiful. So the, the light yellow is against the light yellow. It is magic. Lowe's just going to call him that painter bloke. That I mean, would that be helps, isn't it? Works, I yeah. mean, if you just add in, you know, the one without an ear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Aussie some, Maureen. That's some flower chap. Yeah, that's <laughs> some flower chap without the ear. Um, Maureen pronounces it Van Gogh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there Ali's just gone, minus an ear. Absolutely. That's what absinthe does for you. Yeah. And the fact nobody appreciates your arse until you're dead. Oh. <laughs> Just take your time as you get to the seams because there's quite a lot of, of bulky seams there. So as you get to them, just maybe slow yourself down slightly. Do you know, that is where we're so lucky, isn't it? Because we do have the likes of Cave and Philip. Yes. And Brandon. And they are very much alive and kicking and fabulous. And hugely and supportive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Could you imagine doing this and old Van Gogh popping up? <laughs> He'd be like, going, what are you doing? Oh, I like that you've used my sunflowers. <laughs> It'd be amazing. He'd be like, yeah. cross. <laughs> I imagine he was quite a cross person. I don't know Do where think? I got that idea from. Well, probably because in a fit of rage he whipped off his yeah, ear. Yeah. That might be a, a clue. <laughs> he was a redhead as well, wasn't he, if you believe it? They, they're notoriously for having fiery, a, fiery tempers. Although I think if you ask my mother, she'd tell you that when I was a, a tot, I could give any redhead a run for their money. Well, maybe you're a strawberry blonde, maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. We've got, my Auntie Karen is very, very red. Yeah. And she's um, that we've got redheads in, in Glenn's side of the family with, I think, from his dad's side. Um, my, my niece, two of my nieces, got the most gorgeous Titian hair. Both beautiful redheads. It's a, it's a stunning look, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Anne says, we've only lived in Warwickshire for three years. I still run along a path, have a bath and all the rest. And you might always... Yeah. 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 There's nothing wrong with and that. And that's okay. I struggle when, when I hear Freddie say path and bath because I still say it because I'm yes. you know, originally from Sussex. Yeah. Well, my cousin lived in... Um, uh, Suffolk for a, quite a while and when she came back to Staffordshire her children started calling her mum 
and she didn't quite like it. She um. wanted them to call her mum because that's what she was used to. Yeah, and then there's mum and then there's as well. Mom. There's all sorts. So oh, hang on a minute, Jane. What's this witchery? You're going to make two of these blocks Amazing. with what you've got and then you simply sew them together against the side of the sunflower. Let me move that over slightly so you can see it completely. Rather gorgeous. Literally just sewing the seams down the side. And then you'll do your border. I use the brown. So you'll have your brown fabric bordering that. Let me open that out. We can just stick that underneath. Top and bottom, side and side. Very oh, yeah. thin. Gems in. Very thin border. I have had a sore wisdom what, Jane? Tooth. Tooth. That's when people say tooth. 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 Yeah. yeah. What's a tooth? And then you've got the rest of your sunflower fabric, which you will then again top and bottom, side and side. Add that to the edge of there. And that gives you an idea of how your table runner looks. Amazing. And layered it up, quilted it, and did very, very basic quilting. I quilted just with a straight stitch, just inside the line of the circle centre, around the outside edge of the um, sunflower, and then literally followed the edge of the block and did inside that one and came down these just to give that a bit of definition as well. But always straight lines, nothing fancy. Um, sewed all the way around the outside inner edge of the um, three blocks and then sewed, quilted just inside that border there. This border is quite narrow. You could add another, or you could do a wiggle on there, whatever you wanted to do really. And then bound it. And I bound it with the brown. Perfect. And there is enough fabric in there with the brown to do the binding with the brown. So the finish effect is behind you. Yeah. If you take a little step to the side, there we are. There we go. And this is it in Phillips. Yeah. The one on the desk is Jane Sassaman. With the darker background. Yeah. Which looks rather stunning. So it's up to you. It's um, up to you what you, you fancy. Know, we've said, haven't we, you don't have to make it into a table runner. You could just take the sunflower box block and make it into a cushion or the other block make that into a cushion but if you want to um if you want to get the philip one which is the one on the wall uh you can either get it just the top yeah which is 19.99 or you can get it with a meter and a half of backing fabric in his sophie design that no, lucy lucy sophie. i don't know who sophie is just show you that. <coughs> um That's and the then we'll, and if you do that we'll give you the pattern for free there's a lucy which actually looks rather nice with the dark version It as well. does look rather lovely with that as well. Yeah. yeah. Because there's nothing to stop you not using the big bold print, you might want to save that for cushions to match, and using this one as your centres and your borders and putting something else on the back. All options there. You know, you've got plenty enough fabric there if you buy the whole... The, the whole, whole shebang. Lot. Karen's loving it on the dark background. Oh, Philip says Helen is from up north. I say bucket. She says book it. Book it. Yeah. I, you see, I didn't, because, because they live in London, I, I always assumed that Helen sounded like a Londoner. Like a Londoner. I didn't realise she was mm. from up north. Fabulous. Nice. There we go. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Well, that is rather lovely. Um, what are we making next week, Jane? I've, uh, it's another book that, Gemma and I found that it's got baby applique in it. <gasps> some exciting things in that book and I might just make something. I might combine one thing with another thing to make... Many things. Yeah, so that you can see that you don't have to do exactly what it says in the book. Okay. Can we plagiarise it, say I made it and give it to my uh, <laughs> new nephew? <laughs> Would that Absolutely. be wrong? Absolutely, I won't no. tell anyone. No, I mean, no one would, <laughs> no no one would, no one would notice, right? No, no one, one would there. notice. Nothing to see here. Nothing oh, to yeah. see here. Um, <laughs> um, Lo says it's too late for Vicky. She already made it. Yeah. Already made the paper call. Um, right, you lovely lot. That's the end of today's show. Yeah. Short and sweet. Um, and yet perfectly formed. So there we are. Thank you ever so much for joining us and watching. Um, do you applique babies 
to a quilt. Well, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Be careful with your pins. Yeah. Um, we were. <laughs> it's, it's starting to descend now, isn't yes. it? It's time this to is go. all about the English language and how you use it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, it's not a disabled toilet, it's a toilet for disabled people. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the toilet. <laughs> well, we hope. <laughs> yes. We hope. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Or the yes. green lady's handbag. Oh, the what, sorry? The green lady's handbag. It's not, the lady's not green, it's the handbag that's green. Yes. So it should be the lady's green handbag. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. I love the English language. Yes. <laughs> it's all fun, isn't it? Must make it really hard to learn. Uh, and well, just for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we can't even speak it ourselves. Can we? No, we struggle. We struggle. <laughs> Susan says, bye. Bye, girls from Tenerife. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, well, I've got sunshine here today, but not probably 30 degrees sunshine, which is probably what it's like in Do Tenerife. You know what? I was so, yeah, we went skipping into school this morning, me and the kids hand in hand. And, uh, and then um, and then I was told that it was going to rain by lunchtime. <sighs> I don't think it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have yeah, fingers crossed. Positive about yes, it. Yes. 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 <laughs> all of that. Lisa says bye, lovely ladies. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye Diane. Bye. Um, give us a wave, Jane. Bye bye. Bye.